If Steve Wolf, science in the movie's presentation, opens with the creation of smoke, can fire be far behind? How many of you have seen a house on fire in a movie? Wolf could easily turn his presentation into a magic show, dazzling the kids with hocus pocus. But that's what he does for a day job as a special effects coordinator and stunt person in major motion pictures. I was actually watching Tom Brokaw on the news one night and I saw a piece about how American students were last in the world in science education. And I couldn't believe that the country that put a man on the moon was failing basic science. I knew kids could learn because they remember every line they see in TV and in movies, but the way information was being packaged in the classroom just wasn't reaching them. My name is Steve Wolf. I'm a stunt and special effects coordinator for movies and television shows. So I take the basic science education that I had actually using most of the science from elementary school and middle school and I use that to make a living that's pretty exciting in the movie business. I worked on a movie called The Firm with Tom Cruise. You know how he makes sure that he doesn't miss any work? By taking really good care of himself. He doesn't let himself be around smoke or cigarettes because it's extremely unhealthy. So when we were filming a scene in a restaurant, we had to figure out a way to create a smoky look in there without having any cigarettes. And the way we do that is using this machine that's called a smoke machine. And the smoke machine works off the simple principle of science called the three states of matter exactly what are they solids liquids and gases right so if we take a liquid like the liquid in this jug and we add some heat to it what can we turn it into a gas you see that cloud that cloud was made from about four drops of liquid so watch movies carefully now. You'll see that when you see smoke coming through the, the trees in the Jungle Book or you see light filtering through trees, we use a smoke machine like this to create that effect. I thought it was absolutely fabulous. They were so excited and they, they don't always get excited about programs. But this was absolutely wonderful. We have to make fire lots of times in the movies and the way we do that is it got to have ingredients I use fuel I use oxygen I use heat and a chemical reaction and if you bring those four things together you get fire I hear it hear it propane coming it's coming down so if we wanted to have smoke with this fire if the director says uh, a wolf the fire looks good but we need a little more smoke there please we take the smoke machine fired in there and this way the director can say exactly how much fire they want how much smoke and they can control exactly what they see Uh, not only was it interactive, but it was a very educational, it was very related to science, very academic, and the kids not only had a great time, but uh, they learned. Pictures up! Fire in the hole! Three, two, one, action! Very nice! If I add a whole bunch of pulleys together, they multiply your strength by the number of pulleys that you're using. So imagine what you could do if you were eight times stronger than you are. I've got a flame on my hand right now that's burning at 1,800 degrees. Action! So whether Wolf is using pressure and force to pepper his audience with popcorn. He says that's good. 
Bud. What do you think? Or pulley. To allow children to lift their gym teacher off the floor. Three, two, one, action. He is arming young people with the knowledge to change their world. I think it's fun when kids go to movies if instead of seeing the violence, they look at the screen and they say, I know how they did that. And then they're thinking like scientists, and that's what's going to make this a great country.